We'll just have to give the killer a little more time to tie his or her own noose. Yeah, I think you're really enjoying this, kind of enjoying the feeling of power you're holding over us. He certainly is. I know how overwrought you both are, so I'll ignore that remark. Now, up to this point, our little gathering are the only ones who are aware that foul play may have befallen Gina. Mason, you have promised me ages ago you would call the police. Haley, I made that promise with conviction that the killer would have been smoked out by now. I have no choice but to renege under the circumstances. I'm sorry. I should have never trusted you, any of you. Mason's right. We have to go on as if nothing happened. Gina's been murdered. May I remind you that until a body is found, that remains to be proven. We would like as if Gina looked down for a while. The wedding will proceed the schedule. This is crazy. I mean, what's going to happen when Gina's body never shows up? If she's alive, she'll turn up for the wedding. Believe me. In the meantime, whatever happened at the beach bar will be kept a secret by everybody in this room, I presume. You all are crazy if you think I'm going to go along with this. Mason, there's no reason why you can't notify the police and say that Gina is missing so they at least can be looking for her. No, there's every reason, Sophia. If there's a full-fledged investigation, the killer will be forced to destroy that tape. It's far too incriminating. So you see, Haley, our sister's life hangs in the balance. One of you tried to kill her, and uh, you think you're going to get away with it. But you're wrong. Hey, Ted. You better stop her before she does something stupid. Dad, you mean the right thing. Do it. Well, I suppose the two of you will be marching down the aisle before rigor mortis sets in on poor Gina. Until the tape is found and Kelly is cleared, everything will go on as planned. A little bedtime toy for you, Sophia. I'm not leaving you here alone. It's so odd. It's a strange feeling. This great sense of relief that the whole thing is over and you're not going to have to marry her. At the same time, I have this odd feeling that it's not over at all. I am not going to rest until we get the tape back. Do you really think the person who shot Gina will take it to the police? That's our best hope. In the meantime, assuming that Gina's dead. We can uh, schedule our wedding. When? For when? Well, I'll take up the wedding with Gina up to the chapel, and then she doesn't show up, and you step in, we get married right Not there and there. I can't do it there. I want to do it at home like we planned originally. That's what I said. We'll do it at home like you planned. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the perfect wedding that I promised you. Also, how about a perfect private evening tonight? Huh? What do you think? I think that I'd better go and uh, take off these clothes. I think then. you better go take off your clothes. Maybe then. change. Maybe change. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're right Gina, but I am. Oh, my God, I am. I've tried so much to keep up hope, but the idea of your marrying that woman, I couldn't stand the thought of it. This, this waves of desperation would just come over me. Now, there's absolutely nothing standing in the way. No, darling, there isn't. Is there something wrong? Sleep. 
morning. Good morning. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. <clears throat> You're strange last night. I'm tired last night. No, it was more than that. There was urgency, even when we were making love. There's something wrong, isn't it? I guess I better tell you that I know. Now what? About the gun. I also want you to know it doesn't matter to me. And I also know how far you're willing to go for me. And I love you very much for that. That's so lovely. But I don't understand one word you're saying. What are you talking about? This? I give you my solemn word. I don't know anything about that gun. I have never seen it before. You have to believe me. Of course I believe you. Baby, I didn't know what to think. I knew you wouldn't really harm Gino, though attempted to do so sometimes. I we're talking about this because we avoided it last night, and I had the same anxieties about you, baby. I know. You thought that one of us uh, wound up the tape. So did I. Where did that gun come from? I don't know. Maybe the one who shot Gina was the one who planted it. Obviously, they want us to take the blame for it. Cece, if we, if we took that gun to the police, they could tell whether or not it had been fired last night. I mean, maybe we should do that. Uh, maybe we should just tell them the whole story. I don't think we should tell them. First of all, there's no body. So conceivably, Gina could still be alive. And uh, secondly, she's not gone long enough to classify her as a missing person. We have to go on as we planned. I'll get rid of the gun and... Well, like as though nothing can happen. The tape has to surface eventually. What about the wedding rehearsal today? We go ahead with that, too. Everything has to stay as unchanged as possible. Baby, it's going to work out fine. Let's just think of it as... Uh, Another step closer to our marriage, that's all. I think of that constantly. If I didn't know better, the only person I can think of who is evil enough to plant that gun is Judy. Couldn't be her, unless she's alive. Well, what, Lily is trying to incriminate us, Keith Timmons? No, mm, unless they're trying to avert suspicion from themselves, but uh, Mason is keeping an eye on her. Also, I'll tell you something. Gina doesn't show up in 24 hours. She's going to miss that uh, wedding of the year. Uh, you know, I fully expect, even if that happens, that a ghost will come clumping down the aisle <laughs> in white lace. Hmm. That tape can't be gone forever. No. Somebody's got it. Why don't we think of this as a reprieve, huh? Because for the time that Gina services, dead or alive, I'll tell you back. You, my beautiful thing, will be my wife. <laughs> <laughs>